What is platform as a service for OpenStack? We're going to be talking about that next on 5 Minutes of Cloud. So when we talk about OpenStack, when we talk about platform as a service, we're stepping out of the core model of what OpenStack actually provides. Um, OpenStack's principal functions, its, its core resource functions are infrastructure as a service focus. So managing compute, managing network, managing storage services. When we talk about platform as a service specifically, um, the, the NIST model describes this as a set of resources that are not specifically infrastructure. I'm not specifically talking now about compute, network, or storage. I'm talking about a set of additional higher level software resources. Often people talk about database as a service or uh, application uh, runtime environments as a service uh, that, that would make this up. There are also tools that enable platform as a service sort of end to end. So they provide a different interface into the, the, the cloud space. And that would be things like the Red Hat OpenShift platform uh, or the, the Cloud Foundry uh, platform as, as ways of actually managing application bundles and managing the scale up and down of those bundles, uh, upgrades and, and rolling upgrades, things of that nature, all can be handled by these platform as a service entities. In the OpenStack space, there is actually a project, a, a, a I believe it's even in the big tent called Solom that was intending to provide that kind of a solution. Uh, to date, it hasn't seemed to quite get as far as the OpenShift project has or uh, the, the Cloud Foundry project has. And so those two are the ones that one normally sees deployed as platform as a service entities within an OpenStack environment. In that case, OpenStack's principal function is actually providing infrastructure services under the platform as a service cover. Uh, so the end users would actually interact with the platform as a service offer rather than the infrastructure services offerings below that. Now, most platform services um, actually also provide other infrastructure-like capabilities like load balancing to support the scale up and down of an application entity that's been deployed into their platforms. Again, OpenStack can provide the actual load balancing service in an as a service offering. So LBAS is the, the, the component within the Neutron service that provides load balancing functionality. Uh, that can also be enabled. Um, there are also higher order uh, orchestration tools, uh, things like uh, the OneOps tools, which is a, a recently uh, open sourced project um, that provides platform like models, much like OpenShift and, and some of these services, but can actually deal with the entire broad range of infrastructure as code. Um, and, you know, so we're seeing one ops in that space. Uh, there's a tool called uh, Digital Rebar that sort of also fits into that same class of, of, of service environment. Sort of thinking about the end-to-end -end service constructs, uh, HashiCorp Terraform would be another one that, that also has this, this kind of a model of describing the end-to-end -end infrastructure and where my application would get deployed as a codified model, uh, a composable uh, systems environment model, uh, per se. Um, so when we're looking at all of these different resources, uh, the platform services, again, that sit on top of OpenStack are usually being deployed as infrastructure resources and then have their own additional management layers on top. But these capabilities um, really shift the way that application users or application developers consume OpenStack managed resources. So OpenStack provides the deployment of the platform service. The platform then provides access for the application developers and users. And this is really what enables this new world of infrastructure as a code environment for those users that don't actually want to manage that low-level infrastructure. Um, so that's the big shift and platform now sits on top of OpenStack as a service. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. In addition, if you want to stay apprised of the latest ongoing updates in the cloud space, uh, sign up for our Twitter feed and our mailing list. We also update you on upcoming webinars and classes that we provide.